Hello, this is Tom Cahill, and it's Friday, the 1st of November 2019. Uh, I just want to do a story, um, or an update, I suppose, on um, the situation vis-a-vis uh, Brian, Brian Harvey. Now, I've never actually done a video about Brian Harvey before. I might have mentioned in videos, but um, <coughs> forgive me, because I, I, I'm not going to bother to look up the, the details here. Um, he was interested in me from maybe five years ago when I basically started, or maybe six years ago when I started exposing Bill Maloney and how we knew that he was coming to pro and all that stuff. First of all, it was just questions, and it became bolted down. And Ian Puddock, obviously, and how Ian Puddock, he worked for Ian Puddock, all that stuff. But the thing was, um, I realised, I noticed that Brian Harvey had been doing singing with him and stuff like that, not from the start off, but he was doing all this stuff, and he looked like he'd been strung along, or at least that's the... Um, that's the story that we've been led to believe, or we're meant to believe it's happened. But you see, the thing with um, Brian Harvey is, despite the fact I um, talked to him, I can't exactly remember how I got in touch with him. I, I think I basically con- tried to contact him and said, look, he's, he's me- you're being messed around, you're being used. I would imagine I initiated that. But the story is he initiated contact with Bill Maloney to help him with his filming, because um, Brian is good at doing films and stuff like that, like he actually is. So that's not a thing that can be doubted about. But you see, the thing is then, as the years have gone over, gone on, Brian Harvey's basically, um, I believe he's done this to other people, other people have told me he's done it. It's despite the fact that I've told him all this stuff and I'm, you know, I'm, I've, I've got nothing to actually gain from it personally. Um, and I've just explained to him exactly what they're using him for. His attitude has been like, well, you know, um, how can I trust you? He keeps going back around, or you were staying in Thailand. And he's even put recordings up where he's talking to people, saying, well, he's in Thailand, and that means he's a pedo, or something that makes me me, I'm suspicious. And he keeps going back around and things, almost like he's got emotional collateral over you. Because he'll say, well, like at the time, when I did those videos, a lot of the time I was in Thailand, and places like that, so I was in the jungle. And it's like the thing doesn't end, it just keeps going going back to the same old thing oh well how can i trust you it's like well because i've told you all this stuff and all that stuff turned out to be true so what 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 was there not to be trusted but you see the thing is then he's also put up videos where he's talking to Ian Puddock saying oh yeah he's basically i understand diplomatically he could have been sorry tactically um slagging me off to try and get hold of more information out of him because he was he let me see hear these videos and stuff like that um, and he also let me hear the videos where Bill Maloney slagging me off and blaming me for putting an end to all his evil ways. So I do, I do know that that you know. So it wasn't like he was hiding the fact that he was saying things. But then again, he doesn't. Then he put those things up and he won't pre-qualify it and say or post-qualify and say, yeah, but of course Tom Kyle was okay. But you see, he just leaves it out there. So it's almost like he thinks that thing. Now this is the attitude with him. A guy called, um, well, I won't say his name, but he told me he said, look, that cunt is a fucking actor you ask him is he in equity he won't know what to say he'll probably say yes but he'll be like oh but 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 you watch but this is a scout but well, he'll fucking say like he will say he's in he's in equity he's an actor he's a fucking unemployed singer this story but he's an actor and they're all actors and everything they say is all bullshit so you've just got to ask him ask him in the middle of talking about something else just ask him it'll lay it on him and just you listen anyway brian harvey's like yeah, as it goes, Tom, yeah, yeah, oh, well, why did you ask? Well, actually, I'm happy to be in Liberty, and I'm like, why is that then, Brian? He's like, well, Bill, but you are just, just happy to be in it. It's like, so, I'm not saying I'm, I'm conclusive about this, but like with lots of things in the past, right, I'm not conclusive, I, so, I'm not, that sounds like I'm dubious about something. It's like, I'm, I'm not, how do you say it correctly in English? I'm, I'm not saying this, I've got conclusive proof of this, but it, it's all looking like, Brian Harvey's just doing all this stupid shit as part of the Ian Puddick mission to undermine people talking about things they don't want you to talk about on the internet and then make it look like they can be sectioned or sent to prison. But of course, like with his Twitter trial, his Twitter sham trial, which was held in camera, (coughs) which means no one else was allowed in there, which means it didn't necessarily even happen and they just made the whole thing up, which had a victim, which turned out not to have happened with a picture of a victim, which then they admitted wasn't the victim. The whole thing's complete bullshit. Just like this judge, female judge, who called someone a cunt allegedly because he'd had a, uh, somebody heard him, whether it was a black woman or not, saying that he didn't think that black people and white people should get together and have children because that's racist and racism's illegal and it's not fucking illegal. Anyway, right, so my name's Tom Carhill. It's Friday, 
the third, no, no, the first of November, 2019. And um, yeah, I'd like to know what you think. Anyway, I said Brian Harvey. I'd like some more information. I, I haven't really been paying attention because it's become very boring. But that fucking bird's going in and getting the fish. Wait a second.